I stopped modeling when I was in Hamburg. Um, I'd been there for about five weeks and I really had just started like modeling full time. I was done school and I kind of freaked out because I didn't have anything in my life except for modeling and it was the first time that it ever happened and it was difficult because I didn't feel fulfilled and I didn't feel like I was doing enough with my life. And that's a really weird spot to be in, in a foreign country with no one that you know. I was also having my agency um, be very critical of my measurements and I was struggling with that a lot. Um, and I just got to a point where I was doing everything I could um, to maintain my measurements and to be like the ideal girl that they wanted and it just wasn't healthy for me anymore and I wasn't representing an image that was healthy anymore. And I wanted to come home and I wanted to be a kid. So many people in the industry treat it like we are curing cancer and like it is the most important thing in the world and it's not at all. Yeah, it's and so even if silly. you don't believe it, we treat it like that anyway. Exactly, and it's just so silly. Like at the end of the day, it's clothing, it's advertising, it's silliness, it's nothing, it's not a necessity, it's nothing that the world needs and people put so much pressure on themselves to make it and I'm not just talking about models but designers and photographers and it's kind of outrageous when you step back and you look at it. You look through you, your book and you're like, I've, I've worked so hard for this, like, I've put in so much time and so much money mm. into this. Well, so many people that didn't know a lot about the industry, like a lot of school friends and stuff, um, were like, oh no, but you're so good, and like, you just did a, like, Blue Notes campaign, like, you just did a big campaign, like, um, you seem to be doing so well, but it's, I mean, I just ended up coming home and being like, well, I wanted to eat. Because <laughs> that's the easy answer. But it is a lot more than that, you know what I mean? Um, but people were generally really supportive, even if they didn't understand. Even my agency was really good about it. Because ultimately, like, you can't do it if you don't like it. Um, and no one is forcing you to do it. It's not yeah. boot camp. My parents were great about it. Like, my mom was really supportive. Um, which was nice because they did give me a lot of financial help and it was like a big investment for them but I don't know, I guess they kind of looked at it like they could have spent the same amount of money on figure skating or horseback riding or gymnastics and I gained so much from it, like yeah. I did grow. Um, it wasn't necessarily like a skill I I learned but... But you do learn I, skills Yeah, right? exactly, like you learn business skills and you gain personal skills from it. I've been really happy with that decision um, because I think I stopped at the right time and it wasn't a negative experience but when it started being negative and it started being more of a sacrifice than it was a gain, I was like it's time to call it quits and luckily you know I had the support system behind me telling me that you know that's what I should do, you know there was nothing forcing me to model or forcing me to be there, it wasn't a financial need and it wasn't you know something I felt I needed to do um, to feel accomplished.